free statistics. Make predictions with quadratic models, part five. Example six, a rectangular rug has an area of 80 square feet. If the length is two feet more than the width, find the dimensions of the rug. Solution, for this problem, we will use the four step problem solving method. Step number one, define each variable. Let x be the width and feet of the rug. Here's my x. Then the length is longer by two feet, so that becomes x plus two. Step number two, write an equation and one variable. So we know that the area is the length times the width. We also know that the area is 80, so we can substitute 80 in for the area the length is x plus 2 and the width is x. We will distribute the x so we have x times x is x squared plus x times 2 is 2x. So our equation is 80 equals x squared plus 2x. To solve this equation I'm going to subtract 80 to both sides and now we have this quadratic equation, 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 80. So in a future video, we will solve this algebraically by using the quadratic formula. But for this video, we can use the graphing calculator to help us identify where this quadratic equation crosses the x-axis. We have our equation in y1. Let's graph it. Here we can see an x-intercept that looks like negative 10 and another x-intercept looks like about 8. Let's use our table command. Okay, let's back up to see where y1 is 0. Uh, negative 10, we do have an x-intercept y is 0. Now in the terms of the problem we can't have a negative length. So that is an x-intercept but in terms of this problem that doesn't make sense. And when x is 8 y is 0. So our x-intercept is 8. So we check it. So the width is 8 and the length is 8 plus 2 which is 10. If we use our area formula, we see that 8 times 10 is 80. It checks. So the dimensions of the rug, a width of 8 feet and a length of 10 feet. The formula, P of X equals 0.64X squared minus 0.044X plus 3, models the approximate population in thousands for a species of fish in a local pond x years after 2007. Use a reasonable domain of 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 10. Number one, is this an increasing or decreasing function? Number two, what is the resulting range for the given domain? Number three, how many fish are in the pond in 2007? Number four, how many fish are in the pond in 2015? Number five, what is the maximum value over the provided domain? Number six, using a graph and calculator, estimate what year the population will reach 40,000 fish. Solution, number one, using our graph and calculator, we type in the model in Y1. Using the table feature, we can see values of time and the corresponding population size according to the model and we want to use the domain from 0 to 10 so as x gets larger y is increasing also and it's increasing for the whole interval. To get a picture we hit window for the y min we use negative 1 so we can see the y axis the x max I'm going to use 11 for the y min, I'm going to use negative 5, so I can see the x-axis. And for the y max, I'm going to use 75. Now, why am I using 75 is because the largest value that I saw in the table was about 67. So this will be a little bit larger than the biggest y value. 
here is the parabola so we can see from 0 to 10 this is an increasing function. Number 2, what is the resulting range for the given domain? Since this is a increasing function we can find the value of p of x when x is 0 this will be the smallest value and then we can find what is p of 10 and this will be the largest y value and this is because this is a increasing function so f of 0 we substitute the values of 0 in for x and follow the order of operations and we get a value of 3 p of 10 turns out to be 66.56 so we say the range is between 3000 and 66.56 thousand Number three, how many fish are in the pond in 2007? Well, 2007 corresponds to x being equal to zero, and we found that value to be three. So there's 3,000 fish, according to the model, in 2007. Number four, how many fish are in the pond in 2015? This corresponds to eight years beyond 2007, so that means x is eight. Substituting 8 in into the model, we have the output of 43.608. So we'd say according to the model, in the year 2015, the population of fish in the pond will be about 43.6 thousand. Number 5, what is the maximum value for the given domain? Now that would be when x is equal to 10, and this has been computed before, we have 66.56. We can verify this by using the graph and calculator. If we hit second and trace, which is calculate, go to value, the calculator will give us our graph, then we type in 10, and it gives the corresponding y value. So this is another way that we can find an output for a given input. And number six, using a graph and calculator, estimate what year the population will reach 40,000 fish. So now we are given a y value, an output, and we want to find what is the input that corresponds to the output. Since the units of fish are in the thousands, our output will be 40. So using the table, we can see that it's somewhere between year seven and year eight. So if we hit second and window, which is table set, we can start the table at seven and then count by point one. So we see at about 7.6, y will be about 40. So we would say according to the model, in about seven and a half years after 2007, or about halfway in year 2014, the population of fish in the pond will reach 40,000. Summary. When modeling a quadratic situation, identifying the important parts of the parabola, the x-intercepts, the y-intercept, and the vertex can be found algebraically, that's using an equation or a formula, graphically, that's using a graph, and numerically, using a table of values. The following are suggestions on how to use the graphing calculator to help you find these important values of the quadratic model. Number one, for some problems using the axis of symmetry formula can help you with the window settings of the graph and or the values for the table set command. This method was used in example four. Number two, for other problems, creating a table of values first, and that's the table command, will help with the window settings, especially identifying the x-intercept or intercepts by looking for sign changes. And this was used in examples five and six. Finally, number three, there are times when just graphing the quadratic equation will identify the important parts of the model. And this was seen in examples two and three. Thanks for watching.